All right, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about MindMeister. I'm not going to show you all the features because I think that once you get your hands dirty with it, um, it will come naturally to you. If you have any questions or problems with it, please just let me know and I'm happy to walk you through it in a more detailed manner. So MindMeister is a mind mapping or um, brainstorming tool. It's this pink app right here on the right hand side. And when you open the app, it's going to ask you to create a free account or sign in. So when, if you create a free account, it's going to ask you for your name, your email, and your password. And then you can create my account. I already have an account, so I'm going to click sign in. Okay, so as soon as you sign in, it gives you um, a pre-made map, and this isn't one that you're going to edit, it is one that you should take a look at. I'm just going to click on the map and it's going to become full screen. So here are some ideas for you to check out on when you are thinking about how you can use these in your classroom. So plan and collaborate on projects, assign tasks, etc. In the top left corner, it gives you a few options. My Maps, the plus sign, and then a couple other buttons. We're going to click on My Maps just to go back to that first screen that we came to when we first logged on. The bottom, on the semi-corner, there's a plus sign. You're going to click on the plus sign, and you're going to create a new map. Now, here you can see that this is the first bubble, the main idea. So, we'll put Carrie's book. And my book um, can be about anything I want it to be, obviously. I can change the color by clicking on these colors here. I can also add a new branch to this mind map by clicking on these plus buttons on the right hand side. So I'm going to click on the plus button and I'm just going to put chapter 1. Change the color obviously, I like different colors. And to add a new branch off of chapter 1, I just click the same plus button I just did and it will um, automatically add a new one can change the color of that as well. Alright, now let's say I want to add a new branch off of Carrie's book. I just click back down here in Carrie's book and click this again. Make it blue and put chapter 2. When I am on this screen right here, I can drag these around. I can also pinch to zoom out and push with two fingers to zoom in. Excuse my neighbors for being so loud with their motorcycles. If I have clicked one time on any of the bubbles, you can see that I can edit the colors here. I can delete bubbles this way. There's a lot of different options here. I can add I can edit my text here, I can change the color of it, I can change the box. For example, right now it's on the circle, the border color, I can add icons, and choose actual themes of the mind map. Okay, when you're done you just click on My Maps, and you can see that the title of the map is My Main Theme, Carrie's Book. I can click on it over here, and I can go back to editing it. If I click down here at the bottom on the share button, I can share my map. I can also export my map. I can export it as a PNG. If I export it as a PNG, I can save it to my camera roll. Then when I hit the home button to get out of there and go to Dropbox, I can go to my folder, click the plus sign, click upload here, and here is my mind map for you to grade.
obviously if you have more to the mind map it will be um, in smaller text. Please let me know if you have any questions. Have a great night.